Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. Um, the more you guys subscribe, the more it motivates me to upload more. And I, I really appreciate the uh, love and support you guys have been showing recently. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so this is a really simple tutorial, but I'm going to show you guys how to make pets you find in most simulator games. I will also be leaving the blank pet model in the description if you guys want to just copy mine and then make your own variations of pets. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is really simple. Just add mesh and then cube and then you have uh, a basic cube here and then it's really simple to create the initial shape so you just create the, you click the little uh, blue wrench and then click add modifier and then click bevel and this is basically the shape that um, most simulator pets use in uh, simulator games and then you kind of add your own uh, adjustments to it I'm also going to add eyes and uh, a mouth in my model so it's a little bit more detailed okay so to add the eyes I'm gonna click add mesh cylinder and then change the vertices to 8 and then I'm gonna change the rotation by 90 degrees and then I'm gonna make it super small like so and then put it just here so we have basic shape for the eyes done right there okay so once you add the eyes I'm gonna go ahead and add a small little detail which makes the eyes look a lot better um, you guys don't have to do this this is optional um, but I like to do it because it just adds that little bit of detail okay so these are the eyes mouth you don't usually have a mouth on these kinds of pets so I'm just gonna leave that out um, for the next part there's an outer layer which you're going to apply transparency to so you don't have to make it here so we're just going to copy this model while we're in studio um, resize it and then uh, add transparency to it once you've done all this so far you want to add the smaller details such as the legs and like a tail if you want one so I'm going to make another cube and then make it a lot smaller and then I'm going to pull it down here, add the same bevel modifier, change this value to let's say 1.25 and then stretch it out and then we have some simple legs here and then for the tail what you do is you add another cube, add the bevel modifier again, change that to the same value make it smaller make it more like a tail like so doesn't have to be super detailed and then if you want to make it into a cat for example or something like that you'd want to just add another cube here place it like let's say here make it thin Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut down the middle. Pull the uh, top edge. And there you go, you have your cat ears. And that's your basic pet for Simulator. Okay, so I'm going to put an image on the screen of some pets in other games that have been made using this simple method. They may seem a little bit different when it comes to small details like the faces because their they're image is taken from Google and applied to the front uh, as a simple texture just to make them look better but this is essentially the method they use it's really simple really fast I'm gonna make a few more models of this and then I'm gonna upload the, the link to download them in the description below so you guys can take this free pack um, you can use it as you want or you can adjust them you can do whatever you want with it okay so once you're done with the models um, you wanna go ahead and export them now to do that you wanna go ahead and click file export and then FBX and save it wherever you want okay so once you're in studio you want to import your models so to do that you want to go ahead and click view enable asset manager and then click this little button right here to upload your files and then locate your files wherever they are and then wait for them to import okay so once your files are imported you can see them up here um, if one fails to import something just cancel the import and then re-import them it should fix it 
And then once you've done that, you should see recently added down here and you see all your models, um, all the uh, different objects in your uh, Blender file. You want to select the top one and then shift select the bottom one to select them all and then right click and then insert with location. Okay, so once you've imported your models into Studio, you first want to anchor them and then color them however you'd like. I recommend grouping the models separately after you've colored them. I'm going to fast forward through the uh, coloring process because you guys can color them however you want. And uh, yeah. I hope this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to like the video and follow me on Twitter if you're up for it. The links uh, are in the description. That's all for now. Peace.